friends, welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Ooh. This week's fun drink, we're sharing a plain Perrier. We're out of fun drinks. <laughs> it is what it is. And I was at Target today. Y'all, I could have bought more. I forgot. I wasn't. <laughs> well, I wasn't. And I didn't realize until right before that I ran out of stupid poppies <laughs> i know people are like someone put a different poppy in there she said she's screaming into a void because she's uh suggested it every episode and we never look at it and what guess what flavor? i forgot <laughs> guess you're gonna have to do it again <laughs> dude oh here are two funny comments i saw on last week's episode mm -hmm. number one i sent it in our family chat did you I see saw it that, yeah. and it said let me pull it up it said drew's really beautiful but really mean like diana ross was Diana Ross mean? <laughs> I don't know enough about her. I don't know. If it made me giggle. And then the other one said the two, how we say two idiot girls. Well, we, I mean, hello. By we, I mean me, how I say two idiot girls at the beginning. Mm -hmm. They said we sound like the shrimp in a shark tail. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Anyways, so do we have any updates we'd like to share with the group? Any life updates? Life updates? Yeah. I guess not. We're also pre-filming this. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't want to be a liar. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> life updates. Do we have any life updates? <laughs> I got a new perfume. That's a life update. Congratulations. <laughs> Do you guys Eilish know that show. joke? <laughs> from who knows where it's from. I'll answer it right now. Say it again. You have to say it again. Congratulations. Everyone's going to know what that's from. It was a TikTok sound, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. My friend's in there. That was in there, but the oh, other one wasn't. Okay. Like, it, okay, so obviously you ruined it, sorry, but it's sorry, from sorry, SpongeBob. Sorry. Okay. But what, which episode? I was waiting for you to answer. No, I thought you were waiting for the audience to answer. No. My friend's in there. Well, you know SpongeBob says that. I know. See, she don't even know. Is it, it's not, is it in the movie? No. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the way he gave up so fast it's when he goes to the salty spittoon oh yes okay and he's like my friend's in there yeah. and then the doorman goes congratulations there you go there you go <laughs> um since the last time we filmed no new updates because this is an episode that we're filming in advance yes we're doing something we're talking fun. to you we're talking to you from the future <laughs> dear past me <laughs> <laughs> I got my hair done. That was fun. <laughs> Those are all my updates. I got new perfume and I got my hair done. Ooh, and Christmas nails. That's it. Yeah, I have my first Christmas set already. It was pretty funny because uh, my nail my nail tech was very annoyed with me because I had to keep getting neutral sets. Yeah, she was telling me yesterday. She was like, I'm not doing another fucking plain set on you. And I was laughing because I was like, Michelle, I don't want to do plain sets, okay? I just have to do them for work all the time. They have to match my outfits. And she was like, yeah, the last time, or when I was thinking about your next appointment, I was like, I don't care what she says she has going on. I'm giving her a Christmas set. <laughs> she literally texted me. I were like moving my appointment around. I was like, okay, cool. I'll see you then. And she just texted me, Christmas nails with an exclamation point. I was like, that was her way of telling me pick a Christmas set. Yeah, like, oh, literally. Okay. Christmas is her favorite holiday, yeah. as is mine. So I'm like very happy with this set. I have like five others saved. We'll see what comes next. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. So today we're doing a part two to cringy, embarrassing things you did. For a crush while growing up, I called it crush confessions. <laughs> Fun. And they're pretty funny. A lot of people um, were laughing at the ones I shared, um, which kind of yeah. hurt my feelings because yours are worse. So I don't know what you're laughing at. Oh, the ones that you shared personally. Yeah. I thought you were saying like the ones you shared off the Which Which story do you think was the worst one that I shared? Which one do I think they thought was the worst of yours? No, I'm asking you. Which one oh. do you think was the worst one that I personally shared? Mm. I think the note one is the worst one, like worse than the hangman story. Yeah. I, the reason why it was hard for me to choose is because I feel like both of them are pretty damning. <laughs> I would probably say the note, but the running theme, the, the crazy thing about those is that those stories are like four years apart. Yeah. But the gaslighting stayed the same in both of them. Yeah. Something has to stay consistent. And that's what yeah. it is. Yeah. One thing me. about me, I'm a liar. Yeah. <laughs> 
that I think it was just the fact that you would like out yourself and then be like, what? Who told you that? Who told you that? You did. That was the worst part of your stories. <laughs> Mine was just me being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. At all times. Why was I always... I, the, the longer I thought about it after we filmed the last episode, I was literally thinking to myself, I have so many stories like that. Where I just so happen to be there. Yeah. And something weird's happening. <laughs> oh, what? yeah, you're right, you're right. Why the fuck am I always, like, right next to them when it's happening? You have, like, a really calming presence, and that's why people feel like they could just really let loose around you. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Fucking apparently, like fucking apparently let dude. their hair down for a little you <laughs> the know? way that they like so openly like let it's like that um that meme when when they're like unzipping their skin suit and there's like a demon inside yeah they do that around me yeah and i'm like hey keep the skin suit on yeah let's play that. pretend for however longer don't do that on my accord <laughs> <laughs> don't do that because of me <laughs> please keep it together yeah yeah um, I even like after the episode, I was thinking further along <laughs> and I have so many, even yeah. in college. Like, you're, well, I was thinking that eighth grade story in the computer lab. That one's pretty bad. <laughs> We're not going to share that one. Cause I think they'll literally delete our channel. <laughs> that one's pretty bad. Okay. We're not going to tell the computer lab story. We can't, but if it is juicy. So if you ever become my friend in real life, I'll knock your socks off with that story. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. Every time I tell anyone, they immediately are like, yeah, they're all their hair stands up. <laughs> like a cartoon. All their eyebrows just burn right off. Like <laughs> with no fire. It's just, it's just, it's a crazy story, but like the, it's a prime example of me constantly being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. And like, I'm always Told like, you, people just want to let loose as soon as you get there. And sometimes I just think like, why me? <laughs> What about me attracts these What about people? me makes you want to act like that around <laughs> me? Like, come on, dude. Okay, we'll jump into this first interview. This is yeah. from Dom. And she said, I remember the cool kids in our grade, like seventh and eighth grade year, had a thing called Slap Ass Friday. So on Fridays or any day I knew, I'd see my crush. For They didn't have a theme day in our middle school. It we was, had that game, though. No, I know. But she said it, it was only, only on Fridays. <laughs> I wish ours was only on Thank Friday. Goodness, it's slap ass Friday. <laughs> well, you know what? I'll say this. I'm glad you had something like that, because every time we tell that story, everyone's like, what the fuck are you talking no, about? The last time we talked about it in the YouTube comments, everyone was saying, oh, my God, I thought it was just my school. Oh, OK. Well, that makes me feel more valid. Wait, OK, let me finish it. Yeah. So slap ass Friday. So on Fridays or any day, I knew I'd see my crush. I would wear my regular granny panties. But I'd pull them so far up my ass to make a thong <laughs> in the host that he would grab my ass and fall in love with me. <laughs> She's all because, you know, I thought those things were mature and sexy. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy, bro. Pulling your Hanes underwear up your ass is your pretty nice. Your of the looms of your butt. Your exhilaration chonies. The thought of you being like, it's just the fact that I've done that before in the past that I'm like, that makes it extra funny. That you're like, well, what's wrong with me? Yeah, like I've done that because I hate panty lines and they're so uncomfortable, but you were doing it just, and just in the off chance he did grab your ass, he'd feel a little cheekage and yeah. then be like, nice. One thing about me, I can't wear thongs because I had a pilot idol cyst. This is for all the girlies out there that <laughs> Well, that took a turn. <sighs> they're very, they're a lot more common than you think. I know, but I just, that's not what we were talking about. <laughs> that's what I, I meant. I wanted to participate, show you why I can't participate in wearing thongs. I live in a thong, to be honest. Even, even when it's my time of the month, I still wear thongs if I can, if I can get away with it. If not, I wear like boy shorts. I love those for that time of the month. I feel that. Those are like hella comfy. Dude, you know what underwear are like so incredibly superior? Any shape of seamless underwear. Yeah. Oh my God. But seamless high-waisted underwear. Those are really Those nice. are so good too. But just any, yeah. All my underwears I feel like are pretty high waist. I mean, I guess all underwear is high-waisted if you think about it. I guess you don't have real high-waisted underwear because I do and it's very different. They're like high-waisted like kind of like bikini bottoms. When do they go past your belly button? They go over my titties. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they yeah, go they to go my over, collarbone. Yeah, I put my arms in the straps. Yeah, they go over my legs. Like an old striped swimsuit. Yeah. I have the matching cap. <laughs> no, they, yeah, it goes over my, my belly button. 
I mean, I have some like that. Yeah. But I, I just mean like, I guess I'm just saying, cause, uh, with thongs, it's the same thing, but you know how sometimes the cut it's like that. So it's like a V. I so, don't wear thongs. So I, I know that, but I'm saying, I can't relate to this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm saying they're technically still high waisted. The, the cut is just different. Yeah. So I guess that's why I said, I guess all underwear is technically high waisted to an extent. If you make it so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you pull it up your waist, <laughs> Okay. But I seamless underwear. Maybe, maybe young you should have known that instead of bunching up your cotton underwear. Yeah. Why didn't in seventh grade, why didn't you know about seamless underwear? You idiot. Also, I'd love to know if like when you did that bunching, were you wearing like pants that you could see the underwear still? Because the <laughs> hilarious part about that is you'll see the bunch at the top. <laughs> Looks like a loincloth. <laughs> you know? you a watch rag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally it's fucking <laughs> okay this next one's from katie and they said i thought i was having a main character moment or something i don't know but i thought i could sing when i was 10 years old so i would do these performances in front of my whole class to impress my crush i couldn't sing for shit so just imagine the most off-key singing while i made aggressive eye contact with this boy who already had a girlfriend i sing songs like titanium <laughs> and the cup song from pitch perfect when you were 10 how old are you now i don't know Holy 16 shit. <laughs> oh, shit i wanted to show him i was different because pitch girlfriend... perfect came out when i was in college that makes me feel so old i know what year did that movie come out no i'm tripping i don't know i think i was 21 when it came out <laughs> <laughs> how old is this girl now 19 probably <laughs> oh okay well, that makes sense you're just so young it makes me feel like a grandpa yeah you sing the Pitch Perfect song. Yeah, and they said, he was, in fact, not impressed. Nobody was, because I would drag the entire class at the end of the day to sit in front of me and hear me sing. It's honest, honestly a marvel. I still had friends, because who did I think I was? Did they Did they gather, though? She said I would, like, get the whole classroom to sit in front of me to watch me sing. Did they do it? If that's how it appears. Clearly, you had a talent of some kind. Yeah. Look at you crowdsourcing. Leadership. Yeah, look at you influencing, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> This is a little grassroots campaign. Maybe you should run for office right? or something. The way that you were like, no, no, no. Come sit down. Come sit down. Come I sit down. something really important I want to Come share Come sit down. I promise you won't regret it. And then you sing a three minute song and they sit there for the whole song. You're an inspiration. Well, honestly. Titanium, isn't that in Pitch Perfect too? They sing that in the shower. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Pitch Perfect was... Uh, I think revolutionary for the time. Yeah. Um, looking back, extremely problematic, which we've talked about. Mm -hmm. But I think what we uh, is the main selling point of that movie is that she's a pick me. Yeah. She's a huge fucking pick me in that movie. Like the way. Oh, my God, dude. The way that she's just like, look at you lame old girly girls. Like the way she talks is like almost like a script of like the worst pick me isms. And what's even more wild is that women like her still exist. <laughs> That's the most wild. And we part talked of it about all. that last episode too, man. The way that oh, it just could never be me. It could never be me. I just think all the time, like, you're proud that like no woman on earth likes you. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty wild. At dude. 29. You know what I mean? That like, you're that like insufferable. Yeah, you're you're proud of that fact. <laughs> I wouldn't be if I were you. The fuck? You're proud of that? Just like, that's not a flex, like, in any way. All right, friends, we're going to take a quick little break to talk about microdosing. So you've probably heard about microdosing, but if not, just know that all sorts of people are microdosing daily to feel healthier and perform better. So our show today is actually sponsored by Microdose Gummies. Microdose gummies deliver perfect entry-level doses of THC that help you feel just the right amount of good. So me personally, like right before I go to bed, I feel like my brain is at like top speed and I have no way of controlling it. So that's why I really enjoy using the microdose gummies because they really do taste and feel amazing. And they really help me wind down and chill out and truly, truly sleep like a baby. So all around, they're really a 10 out of 10 for me. Microdose is available nationwide. To learn more about microdosing THC, go to microdose.com and use code T as in Tom, I, G as in golf to get free shipping and 30% off your first order. Links can be found in the show description, but again, that's microdose.com and code TIG. Now back to the episode. 
Okay, this one's from Faith. Mm -hmm. She said, my grandma was super big into manifestation and she taught me all about it when I was in middle school. So at this time, I had a crush on one of my friend's older brothers. And I thought I would try manifestation by writing over and over again on a piece of paper, front to back, my friend's brother's name likes me and wants to date me. <laughs> my best friend's brother by Victoria Justice. I was just about to sing that. I was going to interrupt you and sing that, but I didn't want you to get annoyed with me. <laughs> My best friend's brother is the one. Yeah, it's boy. like. Remember that? Dude, it's like my best. Victorious made such good songs. Yeah, I literally, my best friend's brother, I literally downloaded that on my droid and I listened to it on a loop. I remember. And then, okay, so let me finish this one. I then oh, kissed I that was it. it. No, I then kissed it with red lipstick and put it under my pillow. A couple days later, my friend came over for a sleepover and when we went to bed, she went to adjust the pillow and fucking found the piece of paper. I don't think we talked about talked for the rest of the night, a moment I and probably my friend will never forget. <laughs> You're still friends though, so that's a positive. Hopefully. What happened with the brother? Did he get ugly? Just kidding. Probably. Just kidding. I always do. <laughs> Just kidding. That's so funny. What I was um every say- friend I had growing up, if she had an older brother, I had a crush on him automatically. What is it? What happens there? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the wrong person to ask. <laughs> I think say. that like what I was going to say was I like how you were treating manifestation as like witchcraft. <laughs> so you're like, if I write it down like Bart Simpson and <laughs> when he's in detention, then maybe it'll come true. Maybe you didn't wish hard enough. <laughs> you didn't try hard enough. Yeah. That's why. I well, I think that well, first of all, if that have, had happened to me, I would have been very, very embarrassed too. Yeah, I thought of something similar to that that happened to me. Yeah, <laughs> with the <laughs> with the Corbin Blue picture. Yep. Yeah, do you write a picture? It's from like I'll tell the story. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. You were staring at me as if you wanted me to tell the story. No, I was staring at you so you know what you did to me. Okay. I'll also tell them something that you did to me that I text you about today because you're so mean to me. But yeah, go ahead. That's not nearly as bad as what you did to me. Or when you called me a bean freak and now people message me daily and call me. I'm just kidding. Nobody calls her a bean freak, but you can because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, When I was, God, how old was I? I think I was in like fifth grade. Yeah, fifth grade. So I was like 10 years old. Um. Again, this is another example of, I think, me trying to get to that point where I had a crush. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm being real, I did not have a crush on Corbin Blue. No? No, I don't think so. Did you just appreciate his talents, maybe? Yeah, I think... Here's my thing. I think it was the same thing as it was with Taylor Lautner. Like, I'm just always team team minority. Sure. So, if... If we're talking teams, so like in High School Musical, there you had Zac Efron and then you had Corbin Blue. I'm picking, I'm picking the minority every sure, time. Sure, sure, sure. So I like, I don't know why I had. Oh well, we used to have those uh, magazines all the time, oh, like J14, Tiger B. yeah, Bop magazine, or whatever. Ooh, pop star. Yeah, so we used to have those all the time because we were big Jonas Brother freaks, and we would hang up all their pictures in mm. our bedroom. I don't know if you ever posted a picture of that. No, but I think I've put them in this before. I'm pretty sure. Maybe, yeah. yeah. But our room used to be wallpapered with Jonas Brothers shit. It's pretty cool. I, if I'm being honest, I think it was. Yeah. Because the amount of real estate we had on the walls was a lot. Like, we mm-hmm. had a lot of... Well, not a lot, a lot. But there was a lot of empty space in yeah. a normal child's bedroom. And we covered every inch of that hoe. Down to the floor yeah. with, with posters. It was pretty impressive. Mine was kind of askew, but Dason's was neat. Yeah. Which is not very Virgo of me. But anyways, I had a picture of Corbin Blue and, and it was under my pillow. Yeah. Or like in your pillowcase. Yeah. And I don't know why, why I put it in there. I don't either, but I found it and it made me laugh. Yeah. Okay. So this is the story. It was in my pillowcase <laughs> and she found it because she's again a narc and a snoop. So she was looking through my I'm face. I'm a mosa. So she took it and um, our other friend at the time was there mm-hmm. and she opened it and she thought it was so funny. And I was going to the bathroom as she usually is. Yeah. Right now. One of the thing about me, I'm going to be on the toilet <laughs> <laughs> and that's, and you can take that to the bank, <laughs> <laughs> but she like unwrapped it, 
like because it was folded and she unwrapped it and then she slid it under the door almost like almost like a like a, a blackmail ran- a ran- <laughs> yeah yeah ransom no she slid it under the door and said nothing and then i just heard her fucking feet slapping on the tile running away i heard her wide feet slapping on the tile. <laughs> okay shut the fuck up bitch finish the story that is the story the story and then she made me cry because i was so embarrassed that's not the funny part no the funny part is her sliding it and then running away that's the funny part my big wide feet (laughs) slapping away (laughs) it is funny and i even and you know what's so funny is like when we were alone because we shared a room till i was like 17 you can't tell me to call it (laughs) yeah I literally told her, I was like, Days, I wouldn't care if you did that to me by yourself, but why did you do that to me with my friends over, man? <laughs> I like cared more that like my friend, like she did it in front of, in mixed company. You know what I mean? I was like, if you did that to me when we were alone, I would have still been mad. Yeah. But I would have probably just like hit you or something and then it would have been over. She was the one that told me the picture was in there. So I wouldn't have known because like we were on a bunk bed. So Drew was on the bottom and I was on the top. I never told her that that was in there. So she was probably snooping too. No, I know. Yeah. But I don't remember why I put it in there. Like whenever I did shit like that. You were that, manifesting like this person. Evidently. Yeah. But I, I, I just always had reasons for doing things like that. I wish I remembered what my reason was. Not, not saying that like I wasn't like, I didn't think at all that he was cute. Maybe it was just like a good picture and you were like, I'll just put this in here so I don't lose it. Like maybe it was something. Yeah, like, like I just, really innocent. Like, like as like, not like I lay there and kiss it. I don't know. Like never. That. Drew's not like that. That's why I'm curious to know what my reason was because I was not someone who was like ooh. Yeah. Like I wasn't like that. I've never been like that. So I'm curious, like to know, like what if I was planning something? <laughs> what if you turned it over and there was like a bank safe drawing on the back? Blueprints. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 codes and yeah stuff. it's like yeah. the new codes are on the back like <laughs> maybe <laughs> like trade secrets are on the back yeah. but you guys didn't see and then it. because i found it the fbi came and wiped your brain and that's why you don't remember why you had it <laughs> <laughs> like the men in black things are like <laughs> yeah right. no literally that's your memory <laughs> i said what if i was what if i was concocting a plan that's why yeah there you go now i'm spooked <laughs> no i'm scared no i'm scared <laughs> guys <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> okay, this next one's from Brittany. She said, thinking about this makes me want to peel my skin off. But in seventh grade, I would talk on the phone with my crush and I would pretend I was with other boys to make him jealous. <laughs> like full on having conversations and flirting with literally no one, just me alone in my room. <laughs> also, he could get jealous and make me his girlfriend. Spoiler alert, he never did. He also texted me one night, want to see my dick, but I was sleeping and my mom happened to see it. So I got in trouble and she spoke to his grandma and then we never spoke again. To his grandma. <laughs> and then she put, anyways, love you guys. And I can't wait to see you at the meet and greet. Woohoo! Woo. I think, like, <laughs> want to see my wanna dick. Want to see my dick. And your mom's like, <gasps> in the just... seventh grade? Yeah, man. You, my computer lab story, I was in the eighth grade. Dude, okay, we just grew up like such puritanical, like, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> Amish people. Yeah. Not even like Christian kids. We grew up like Amish people. And, you know, <laughs> like a prude almost yeah i i do think a prude though is like something that's used to like demonize women who don't want to no, like we just grew up so it's not even sheltered we just like weren't doing stuff like that no never like, so when i never thought of doing stuff like that ever ever i i remember this is so funny but like i remember when my mom when we were younger and my mom told us how babies were made oh my god it upset me for three was, days Dayson was like inconsolable dude like she you would have thought that someone so close to her had died like i just like the fear that washed over her like yeah and it's just so disgusting in my head and like my mom told me and i was like yuck like in my head and then i was over it like i didn't care anymore no it ruined my whole whole week yeah and then like towards the end i started getting sick of her like wallowing about it and i was like days she literally said that we could have babies without men like you're fine. Yeah. And I literally was saying your days. We could literally just do that. Like, don't worry about it. And IVF, I don't think was a thing <laughs> at the time. Maybe it was, yeah. Maybe it was in the early stages. No, I don't it know. was. Cause there were queer couples having babies like, via that. So that was, we were 
That was a long time ago. Dude. No, I know. Like the L word was around out around that time. I hate to use that as my example. What time? Around, what year? Like 2003, 2004. And Donovan was born 2004. It was well before Donovan was born. Okay. I, Wasn't it? No. I remember. That's why she. <laughs> no, had to you're tell right. You're baby. right. It was like the year that he was born or yeah. the year before. Yeah. Well, it, I'm not saying that IVF wasn't around. I'm just saying I don't think it was as advanced, obviously, as it is now mm-hmm. um, or like readily available. Not that it's really readily available, but it's just much more common, I think, now. Yeah. Um, But um, my point in bringing that up is I literally was saying days we're literally fine, dude. If you don't want to have a baby with a man, you don't need to. Yeah. She said. But in my head. I thought that she meant that, like, if you just really wanted it bad enough, like, you could just, like, make yourself be pregnant. Like, pooping. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's just an example of, like, how, like, we were on the same... I guess, like, innocent. Yeah, it's just an innocence. Because we were on the same track as everybody else. We knew how things worked for the most part. Mm -hmm. We just, like... I just never thought about those things. Like, they were never, like the top of my mind, I guess. Yeah. But especially me. But I know I'm an exception. That's why I'm saying. (laughs) Yeah. They just have always irritated me so terribly. That's why I said me just cosplaying, liking having crushes. (laughs) Me pretending. Yeah. It's ridiculous. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, this one's from Malia. She said, in the fifth grade, I had a crush on this girl, but I didn't realize it at the time. I would stand around where her and her friends used to play and just stare the entire recess. And I used to pay people with my lunch money to go talk to her for me and ask her questions about things she liked. I found out she liked the character Domo or Domo, that little brown thingy. The one with the teeth. Like from Mario? No, the little, um, it's like, I don't even know what it is. If it's Sanrio or what, this little thing. Oh, I don't think that's in Rio, no. No, I, I don't know. I think it's a video game. Anyways, she says she found out that she liked that character, so she went to the mall the next day and made my mom buy me a shirt with Domo, Domo on it. I wore it to school for like a week to get her attention, and it didn't even work. <laughs> Bummer. I think that's sweet, Um, minus the part of you just staring at her. Yeah. But I guess you were young enough that it is perceived to be sweet. Yeah. <laughs> but you, I just picture you going... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like staring squid. like squid. <laughs> Just staring like him like into the ether. Like that would freak me out. Yeah. I gotta be like. Do you want to hear something funny? <laughs> that I just thought of. Can I include it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, when I was in fifth grade, okay. this is a confession. When I was in fifth grade, I don't know where I learned this game. I think it might have been like when we went to the Salvation Army for a while, like in the summers, when yeah. we would go to like the camp or whatever. Okay. Um, but you know, like the game where you guys like, you're, you're like playing like, um, <laughs> it's like, you know, the game, it's like, it's offensive, the term, but it's like Cowboys and Indians. Okay. So like, there was a version of that game I learned somewhere. Like rock, I, paper, scissors? No, it's like guns. Like you you walk around like this and some people are like this. Yeah. I learned some version of this game somewhere. I thought you were talking about Cowboy Indian Bear. No, but it's same similar logic. Okay. But it's like cowboys and Native Americans essentially is the okay. premise. Um, and I learned a variation of this game where like you you split up into teams and it's almost like capture the flag. Mm-hmm. But one of you is like the Native Americans and one is cowboys. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so I learned this variation of this game when I was like in fifth grade. So 10 again. Okay. And I remember thinking, I'm going to go to school and I'm going to teach everybody this game. And it's going to be so fun because it, it, I just thought like, what a blast. Right. Yeah. So I go to school and I tell my whole class, like, guys, I have the best game ever. Like, Everyone gonna circle up, this. circle up, circle up. Yeah. And I like even included people I didn't even really like just because I wanted more people. Yeah, we're all about numbers here. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, take them where butts you can get seats, them. Butts and seats. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> take them where you can get them. Okay. So I taught my whole class and then word spread to the other fifth grade classes. Yeah. So then at recess, everybody would come to me and, you know, being the Virgo I am, I love being the leader. I love being in charge. Always. So I was like, I'm going to deem who's what, and then I'll be the referee. I wasn't even playing. 
I made the biggest game, like the biggest, like when I tell you, like how many kids are typically in a fifth grade class? Like 20, yeah. 25. There was like three classes. <laughs> this is like 60 kids. Almost a hundred kids. Yeah, yeah. I'm leading all of them like Moses through the Red Sea. Okay. I'm like charge, like literally like telling them when to go. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the supervisors were confused. Cause like everybody was with me and nobody was on the <laughs> playground. Yeah. And then they asked, like, what are you guys doing? And then someone told them the name of the game. Okay. And it obviously involves weapons. Yeah. And it got back to my teacher. It got back to my principal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then they had to kill the game. They said, like, nobody's allowed to play that game. If you do, you get in trouble. Why? Like, you get benched. Because it has to do with weapons and killing each other. Oh, okay. Because if you're dead, you have to lay on the ground. Yeah. And someone can revive you, but it's going to, like, take a little bit and they might get killed. Yeah, okay. Last man standing wins. Kind of like freeze tag. Kind of, yeah. But, okay. like, you literally kill each other. So, obviously, that's not a game that you want kids playing. Okay. And so then I, like, remember going back to my class and my teacher was like, whose idea was it? Someone tell me who it was. And I remember... <laughs> I remember... First of all, when the supervisors were looking, I was hiding mm -hmm. because I was afraid because yeah. I didn't want to get in trouble. And then when they were asking, I remember like I was so big when I was 10, I was five, four. Mm -hmm. And I remember telling everyone, don't tell anybody who told you this game. And then I started gaslighting people. And I'm like, I don't even know who <laughs> came up with this game. Like I literally was just telling you guys. And then and I I literally almost like borderline threatened everyone. Like if I find out you tell on me. <laughs> It's going to be it's hell be to pay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me find out that you tell someone that it was me. And then I remember when she asked the classroom, I was literally looking around like, <laughs> like nobody. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, does anyone have anything they want to say? And then nobody fessed up. So we all got in trouble. And I just like to confess now that it was me. <laughs> I'm the one who did it. And you know what? I'm such a convincing liar that like for years I convinced myself that I didn't do that. <laughs> you ever gaslight yourself so much you <laughs> that you change the truth in your head? Like, yeah, like you completely warp the story. Like I genuinely told myself like that literally wasn't me. But it was. It was me. And I just like everyone to know, Dr. Wagner, it was me. Did you unlock that in therapy? The part of your brain that blocked it out? I, I think I, I saw something on TV one day that triggered that memory for me. Yeah. And then I was like, damn, I'm such a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, friends, we're going to take a quick little break to talk about our friends at Fun Frenzy Trivia. And I want to know, can you name the most popular answers to five items you might find on a work desk? What about occasions where people might get a gift or types of insurance, popular answers only. For me personally, Family Feud's like one of my favorite games and I'm so excited about Fun Frenzy Trivia because it's very much the exact same thing. So Fun Frenzy Trivia is a free mobile trivia game with over 60 different categories, including music, TV, animals, and celebrities. If you choose the most popular answers to each question and beat the clock, you move on to the next level. Fun Frenzy Trivia is an exciting brand new game on the app store from the creators of the number one trivia app, Trivia Star. Download Fun Frenzy Trivia today to challenge yourself. Just just go to the Apple or Google store and search for Fun Frenzy Trivia. Download Fun Frenzy Trivia for free today and get ready to flex your brain muscles. Now back to the episode. This one's from Emily. She said, I played on the soccer team to impress a boy, but it ended up running into another girl with my head and having mild head trauma. Oh, and then she went, it turns out sad. I'm gay anyway. Anyone that plays soccer is a lesbian. I hate to tell you. Except for Drew. <laughs> It and depends. I told Dason, I played soccer for 10 plus years. Mm -hmm. How long did I play soccer yeah, for? Yeah, me too. Yeah, like 10, 11 years. Mm -hmm. um, it's split 50-50. They're either like Megan Rapinoe, like a lesbian. Yeah. Or they're a girl who says, I only kiss girls when I'm drunk. So those are bi girls. Yeah. You know? Uh-huh. But like, they're, they're, I think they're girls who are gay. I think they're just in their pick me phase still. So yeah. they like seek male validation, which they think they conflate with male attraction. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like my point being like two different types, but that's easily, that's very true. I played soccer for a decade. So yeah. Yeah. Same. <laughs> it's very true. Then I went to college. I was like, let's play rugby, but I'm straight. 
Okay, this next one's anonymous. She said, we had this outdoor field day thingy where the whole school was outside for a fundraiser and I purposefully left my hoodie inside so I could ask for his when I got cold. (laughs) I ended up asking for his hoodie and he didn't even give it to me because he didn't like the shirt he was wearing underneath. So I was cold for an hour and a half for no reason. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. Cold, literally Hoisted by your own petard, it would seem. (laughs) (laughs) I think that that's really funny. That shit's funny because that's like so common, like silly little things like that. Yeah. Where you're like, oh, I'll just ask them. And then it's like a, such a, like you just, it's just so unintentionally embarrassing. Yeah. Doing stuff like that. Yeah. Like with the explicit intention of like getting their attention. <laughs> and then they're like, no. And then you're like, oh my God. <laughs> I know. I'm like, for what? I did all this for what? Literally for what? Okay, this next one's from, I think it's Ansley, is how you pronounce it. So she said, okay, this is in all caps. Okay, so he only listens to Eminem. And then she put in parentheses, I should have ran then. And then she put, but to impress him, I learned how to rap the fast verse in Rap God. I don't even know the song. That's really embarrassing. I I do know know the song song. and it's embarrassing that I know that song. But that is pretty embarrassing. Unless it's Stan, I don't know the song. It's like or Mockingbird. It's like That's arguably his like fastest like yeah. song, and it's it's a good song. It's not bad. It's Eminem. But this is not the same thing. But that's the power that you drew from that knowledge of knowing that verse is probably equitable to the power I felt when I learned the breakdown in a uh, Fergie or Fergie. Hello, Fergalicious. Yeah, and also glamorous. You know, there's, like, those, like, fast parts where she's rapping, kind of. Yeah. They're not that fast, though. No, but. they're not as fast as his. I'm just saying. It's, like... <laughs> no, I know, but I'm thinking, like, like super... That's what I felt when I learned super bass. Like, I guess the difference is I did that for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's from our friend Hillary Starr. And she said, I used to know my crush's schedule for classes back in high school. So every time I would walk past his classroom, I would do a sexy walk to see if he would notice me. <laughs> she said, he never noticed me and he actually hated me. <laughs> why? I don't I'm know. I'm curious to know why. <laughs> a sexy walk? <laughs> Hillary, I know you're going to see this because you're an avid watcher and listener. Yeah. Do me a favor, please act out on your story what the walk was. Yeah, and then tag, I know you're gonna see this. Two idiot girls. Yeah, yeah, tag tag all of us. You, we all follow each other. <laughs> please, like imitate, like act POV. As, I like your POV. POV, like I'm the classroom door. I want to yeah. see you walk past it as if I'm you're your like, crush in the hallway. Yeah. yeah, I feel like it's a lot of hip swinging and a lot of arms. I wish too, like you would, you could wear like what you wore in high school, like what was popular at the time. Cause I always yeah, think give of me, what I wore. Yeah. Give me a visual. I really want to know. Yeah. Full commitment. I want to see the full. I was going to make a joke about something you wore. Go ahead. <laughs> see how mean she is to me? Dude, yesterday, I'm going to include this. Don't worry, Hillary, we'll get back to you. I was telling my sister that no one ever texts me. And she said, you've always loved texting people. Is that what you said? Yeah, well, I said people do, in fact, text you. You just want someone to text you all the time. I know. And you're all, I love talking to people. And I go, no, you want attention from, like, you, like, want someone to constantly be talking <laughs> but to she, you. Then she's like, you've always loved texting. I was like, that's so mean. What's is wrong that with mean? That? How What's is wrong that, with that? How is that mean? Okay, go ahead and say the outfit. You're right. What is wrong with that? I don't know. What was the outfit? I was going to say the outfit. Do you remember what you wore on your 18th birthday? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I do remember what I wore on my 18th birthday. Yeah, what? I wore blue skinny jeans. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I wore, you, that was when like, cause, so this is like 2011, 2012. Mm-hmm. This is when um, everyone was dressing in like corporate wear, like type tops. Yeah, like Pretty Little Liars. Yeah, lawyer fit. Yeah, like. And I had like a, it was like a black kind of lacy like shirt with like long sleeves and it had roses on it. That one. And then I had it bear was a paws. peasant top. Yeah, peasant top. And I had bear paws on. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only part of the outfit I was going to say. One time, Drew, for it, she wanted to buy something like fun to wear for Christmas, for like before Christmas break. Okay. I literally already know what you're going to say. And like, you tell me if I'm the mean one. <laughs> Wait, what? Go ahead, finish your story. 
I think we're thinking of two different things. I guarantee we're not. I'm getting scared, you guys. Wait. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Well, one year she wanted ugly Christmas sweaters. This was before they were available. Yeah, this everywhere. is exactly what I knew you were going to say. <laughs> Wait. Okay. I'm thinking of another one. Too. Anyways. Okay. And she bought uh, like a green sweater. Uh-huh. And then she went to Michael's and bought little decorations and like safety pinned and like hot glued them to her sweater. Uh-huh. And all day they fell off her sweater all day. And it was really funny. You're wrong. <laughs> How does it feel to be a liar? And here's, I don't know if this was the same year. Might have been a different one. She bought this The fact that she's going to sit here and call me the main one. And she's trying she's trying to think of mean shit to say about me. <laughs> she bought this, like, I think it was like a, a table centerpiece. And it looked like a little crown made out of antlers. And it had Christmas bells on it. And she wore it like a crown to school. No, bitch. <laughs> The way that you're wrong. That is what you did. Wrong two times in a row. I'll correct both of them. Okay, let's hear it. First off, the sweater. She also wore bear paws to school. Don't let her fool you guys. I wore bear paws in middle school. You wore them in high school too. No, I didn't, they said. <laughs> no, I did yeah, not. Yeah, you did. You uh, see how she's laughing because she's trying to validate her own experience? I'm going to gaslight myself into believing that. <laughs> okay, hurry up. <laughs> correct my stories then. The first one, you're right about the Christmas sweater. You're right about the decorations. Yes. They didn't fall off. What happened is I couldn't get them to stick with the hot glue because they were too heavy because I'm not a crafty bitch at all. Yeah. So I literally safety pinned them, but they were so heavy that they were like pulling my sweater down. Okay. So it had no shape. Like in all the pictures, (laughs) it's literally drooping. Like I have teats. Like like, melting skin. (laughs) Yeah. Like I have literal teats underneath my sweater. So that's that. Mm Mm-hmm. And then the worst, you didn't even say the worst part about that Christmas sweater year. What? Is the fact that I learned how to wand my hair. But because my sweater took so long, (laughs) because of course I didn't make it till 30 minutes before we had to leave. And then my mom was like, get in the fucking car, we're leaving. And because like, here's the thing about my my mom too. She's late, just like us. We're all late all the fucking time. It's hereditary. We're not, yeah, we're not proud of it. It's just a fact. Yeah. But she's she'll be like we're leaving at six and it's 7 30 and we haven't left yet yeah so we're like we're good and then as soon as it's 7 35 and she's going out there she goes we're leaving we're leaving we're leaving right now we're leaving the and house you're like embarrassed because you were like dicking around because you're like i have so much time she's not even ready yeah and it's then 6 30 and then <laughs> all of a sudden she's ready all the christmas presents are packed and she's like i'm gonna fucking leave you here yeah. if you don't get in the car Anyways, she did that that year. My sweater took an hour and a half. I didn't think it was going to take that long. Yeah. And then I didn't have time to finish wanding my hair. So I only did. I did one side. I'm not even joking. You. I did one side and one strand. And then in all the pictures, I was just trying to tuck, tuck back the other side. So this idiot didn't even say the funniest part of that story. First of all. But there is a picture that we have with, I, I don't know where it is, <laughs> but there's a picture we have with my grandpa <laughs> where you can literally see my hair and it's oh, so bad. Yeah. Yeah. That You're was probably on day. Facebook. I thought you were to school. You're right. Okay. No, fuck no. I didn't wear that shit to school. I was like, I'm a, I'm a workshop at Christmas Eve. And then I was like, thank God I did it here <laughs> <laughs> okay. in front of my family who will never forget it. And they'll just make fun of me. And then you did wear a Christmas crown to school. Yeah, but it wasn't Jingle Bells. It was. I didn't say it was made out of Jingle Bells. I said it might have had a couple of bells on it. Jesus Christ! It didn't. It looked like the crown of thorns that Jesus Christ himself. That wore. is true. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was made out of antlers. No. No, it was uh, mistletoes. Oh yeah, but it was in fact um, a thing that you put like. Um, in the center of your dining table, like you put candlesticks in the middle. Yeah. No, but it had no hold or anything. It was literally wooden. Yeah. Like it was like a craft. And you, I was again trying to be a crafty DIY queen mm-hmm. because um, in my head, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to wear a mistletoe thing and this can be so cute. And then if boys try to do anything, I'm going to be like, I'm going to fucking kill you. Yeah. So like, Again, I'm still a pick me, so I want the attention. Oh, it was made out of mistletoes. Yeah. Okay. Like it was wooden. And then everything hanging off of it was a mistletoe. Oh, okay. Yeah. But like. Because she wanted boys to kiss her. That's why she did that. No. I, I wanted the attention. Yes. But as soon. I told you. As soon as the bit goes too far. I start being like evil. Yeah. I start being like. I'll fucking kill you. So. Yeah. Okay. That's what that was. 
It just sounds like you added more details to the story that I already told. Well, you goofed the you goofed the best part of that. Why first I wouldn't story. remember what your hair looks like. You don't remember what my hair looked like in You don't school. remember you wouldn't remember what my hair looked like, but as soon as I started talking about wanding it, you knew exactly what the fuck I was talking about. Well, yeah, because you did that all the time. What? The wand in your hair? No, I didn't because it gave me like Shirley Temple curls, but like I wanted like loose waves and for some reason I just oh, so I wanted know. beach waves. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, it's so funny. One time I asked my mom when I first started wearing eyeliner, I'm like, how come my eyelashes don't look like these people's? Yeah. And she was like, those are fake eyelashes. And I was like, what the fuck are those? Like, I had no idea they had mm-hmm. those. And thank God my mom never showed them to me till I was old enough, because as soon as I figured out how to put those hoes on off to the races. Yeah. Now look at us. All these years later. I didn't wear makeup till I was 23, 22. That's like that. That was meme. a pick me. Yeah. That's like that meme. That was like <laughs> yeah. when you were a pick me so bad that you now you don't know how to do your own makeup. Yeah. Same. <laughs> Literally. I'm like, well. <laughs> but Hillary, please post a video on your story and tag us. Yeah. Of you walking. High school was such a weird time for like crushes and mm. like what was normal and what wasn't yeah. like. Sometimes I think about what people used to do when they liked somebody and it's weird. Yeah. If you look at it now, it's like so fucking weird because yeah. we didn't have social media like, like we that. Did, it was just Facebook, but that was it. But even that, like even that was like barely and it wasn't really a place like like, yeah, you could post pictures, but that wasn't really what it was for. It was more so to like communicate with each other outside of school. Yeah, I yeah, I guess. Yeah. Like you would post pictures and you would like them. But mm-hmm. I mean, like it was we'd post those things that were like. Like my status, and I'll tell you your best trait. Yeah, do you used to post stuff like cuddle, cuddle weather? <laughs> Go ahead and deny that, you liar. Why would I ever deny that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I would never deny that. I just, I'm upset that you brought it up. <laughs> she would post that, but fucking hated everyone at school. Like I said, a pick me. I want the attention. Yeah. As soon as the bit goes too far, I don't, I don't want to do it anymore. It. I don't want yeah. to participate anymore. Dude, I found a picture of you, me, and Billy in high school. And I'm I want to share it so bad. There's other people in it. I'm gonna figure out how to cut them all out. Yeah. But the three of us are sitting in the middle and it's pretty funny. Oh. I'm gonna put it in here. You'll see it in here. So you have to watch the YouTube version to see the picture of us three in high school. Yeah, I don't know if you guys knew that. Well, all of you know that, and to some extent that we went to high school together, but obviously Dason was there too, so, like, the three of us have known each other for, like... A really long time, yeah. Fucking ten... Not even longer than that. Yeah, I've known Billy since I was 14, so... 2015 years? Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? That's fucking crazy. That makes me feel so old. Yeah, like, we're going on 16 years of knowing each other. Ugh. For me, it's 14, so... Yours is 15. That's nutty to think about. We're That's how old. long we've known each other and we've like existed around each other. Yeah. But like really known each other only since we started dating. All right, besties, we're going to take one more break. And this is with our friends at Manscaped. So it must be a holiday miracle because the sponsors of today's show, Manscaped, are stuffing your stockings with everything the man in your life could ask for. That's right. This holiday season, Manscaped has vowed to make sure his ornaments are shining bright and his tree is standing tall. Spice up his stocking with gifts he'll actually use and something you can enjoy, too. If you don't believe in Santa, you better believe in this. They've changed 7 million men for the better. Get 20% off and free shipping at Manscaped manscaped.com with code two idiot girls so i personally have used the little trimmer guy girl she works on my balls she works on other people's balls i highly 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 recommend it manscaped's best-selling product is the performance package 4.0 which is at the top of every man's wish list this year inside you'll find their lawnmower body trimmer the dare i say best trimmer on the market for his balls my balls his back and my back chest the list goes on and the weed whacker ear and nose trimmer which i have also used and is also very amazing so while you're at it get 20 percent off and free shipping at manscaped.com with code two idiot girls that's get 20 percent off and free shipping at manscaped.com with code two idiot girls cheers to rocking the best gifts of all this season a gift for him but also really a gift for you because anyone can use these things i promise i've tried it love you back to the episode can we talk about Billy's graduation party and how her uncle was there? 
Yeah. So Billy graduated the same year as me, which is 2012. And so yeah. he invited us to his house for his graduation party. Yeah. They did like a luau theme. Yeah. And when we were walking up, one of our uncles, he owns like his own like luau company. And when we were walking up, I told her, wouldn't it be so funny if Uncle What's-His-Face was here? And when we walked in, he was there. And it was his company. And then my uncle did a fire knife dance in the Little Chonies. And it was really funny. And then he put out the fire stick in <laughs> Billy's pool. <laughs> And it was, it's just like it's like what are the odds it like was literally, it you felt, have to think like he his company served like orange county and the inland empire yeah. and like obviously we were living in Corona. la like, yeah yeah la like he was servicing almost all of southern california of all the saturdays yeah. to be hired which is weird because if you think about it now, it's almost like we were meant to find each other again because yeah. what are the fucking odds? It was the first time we met his family. Yeah, it was yeah. the first time we met his family. Like, what are the odds Jared that we... was so little. Yeah, Jared was a fucking baby. So it's just really funny. But it literally felt like a bit like on Arrested Development. Like, like it just kept literally going. Literally like a scene out of the office. Like, like we walk in and I go, no fucking and way. And we're late. Yeah. We're late, mind you. So we walk up. And we see, like, Dason made that joke, and I was like, that'd be nuts. Because we just knew that he hired, we knew, like, he had hired a company to do, like, the luau, like, the, the food, food and the performance and all of that. Because he had, like, other dancers, too. Uh, and when we walked up, we saw the van, and I was like, that van looks familiar. And then Dason was like, no. It's just a joke I made. I'm like, yeah. you're right. And we walk in the back gate, and he's literally there dancing in little old chonies. Mm hmm and he was like, girls, come T up Yeah, here. titties out. And then he was like, right in the pool. The way he never should have done. Like, how unsanitary. Oh, kerosene. How yeah, uns unsanitary and dangerous. Dude, so To funny. put it in a chlorine pool. Yeah. And even before that, we saw him and we were like, no way, dude. Yeah. Because shit like that just always happens to us. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, we need volunteers. We need volunteers. And then Billy was like, you guys only for being late. And we were like, Ugh. and we went up there and he's still titties out, chonies, right? And he's older, like past middle aged, right? <laughs> Use your imagination. Dad bod. Yeah. I mean, grandpa bod at that point, because <laughs> he was just that old. Like, that's not a read. I'm, I'm telling you, like, he was an older gentleman. Like, he had gray hair. It's our uncle. We're allowed to say it. And he was going down the line and then he saw us. He goes, Oh girls, girls what? And we're like, Hey, Hey, Hey. <laughs> and that's why we tell you guys all the time that our life is literally unreal. Sometimes. Unreal. <laughs> okay we're gonna end on this last funny okay, story i'm gonna tell one more story this isn't about high school this is about us in this september is, of this, this year <laughs> <laughs> this is literally 2022 <laughs> this is us two months ago yeah okay. so i went to uh playlist live right and it was great it was really mm -hmm. really really fun in florida and i brought my whole family because we after i finished playlist we like did vacay for a while uh and <laughs> so when you're in playlist <laughs> All, you're all staying in the same hotel, like creators and fans. So And the they, event is also in the yeah, hotel. Yeah, the event is also in there. So like, it's not like if you've been to VidCon, it's not like VidCon where they put all the creators in one separate hotel. Everything's in the same place. So they have like a, a specific wing of the hotel that's just for creators and their families. That way you're not being harassed, like, or like no one's following you to your room or yeah. making you uncomfortable kind of thing. Um, but the fans there were super, super nice. So that wasn't even a problem, but they just have security on every so they floor like checkpoints. Yeah. yeah. Like every floor they check credentials, all that shit. And so like we got in so late the first night that we didn't get our credentials. So then we had to get them the next morning. So when we left the next morning to go downstairs to get them, the security guy was like this old white dude. And he was super like, where's your guys's badges? Like he was like, you would have thought we were going into the fucking Pentagon. Yeah. And we were like, we're going downstairs to get them. And he was giving us such a hard time, which was so annoying because we were leaving the fucking room. How would I have gotten in there <laughs> if I didn't have a key to this fucking yeah. tower? So we finally get past and we go downstairs. We get our credentials. We come back up, right? Mm -hmm. There's the, let me paint you a picture. There's six elevators, right? There's three on each side, a big ass hotel. 
and there's a big fucking window um towards the back of the where the elevators are so like you can see they have this like big water park there all kinds of shit and so like the odds of this happening are slim to none but we're in the elevator we're going back up to our rooms and it's like what time was it at this point like fucking 2 p.m like yeah. it was like the afternoon it wasn't late at night no. it was like we go up it's my whole family <laughs> there's nobody even <laughs> certain though there's like six of us in the elevator yeah we go up doors open we see the same guy and he's looking out the window and he has these little binoculars <laughs> and he's going like this <laughs> and he's literally peeping on like girls in their bikinis like he's literally going like a fucking freak pervert like a big perv and the doors open and we're all six of us are looking at him do this and we're like and he was all and, and then he's, he's yeah he turned he's like oh oh and he like almost dropped the binoculars trying to put them back in his blazer and he was like oh my god oh <laughs> like he how just woke you? up yeah he was like how how are you guys good are you guys good and like Okay, this guy was like, let me see with a magnifying glass earlier. Let me see the names on those credentials. Yeah. When we caught him being a peeping Tom, he was like, guys, have a good day. You guys have a good day. I remember you guys. I remember Come you guys. Yeah. In. And we were like, my, and my mom goes, you don't want to see credentials now? <laughs> and then he goes, no, no, you know, you, you guys got it. You guys got He turned beat red dude yeah. which is serves what, him right which is what told me that he was being a perv like yeah. if you weren't being a weirdo why are you so embarrassed you know, what made me laugh is like we didn't see that like we were all looking at him but i didn't realize what happened i knew how flustered he was yeah but i didn't realize it's because he was hiding his binoculars neither and my mom told us when we got to our room and we could not stop laughing she goes we go in the in the room and she goes what a pervert <laughs> and then we go what do you mean and she goes his binoculars and we were like binoculars because <laughs> i did see him holding his hands up but i didn't know what he was doing i thought maybe he, he was, was like, like just look like yeah i thought he was going like this yeah. like i thought he was going like this or something like with his hands like on either side of his eyes no he had a pair of like you know like the ones <laughs> like at the opera on a yeah. stick he's like <laughs> jesus christ fucking dude. weird but like we told like it was so funny we kept laughing about it because i'm like the way that he like didn't even want to look us in the eye after we caught him doing that when before that he was like state your name when we were trying to go downstairs yeah and i was literally we were laughing about it so hard and we told uh my agent alex and and my manager phil well our agent alex and our manager phil <laughs> we told them and then alex was i feel like things like that only happen to your People family just let loose around <laughs> us dude. Like, it's fucking true man every time all right, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Two Idiot Girls. We hope you enjoyed it. As we've been mentioning the last few episodes, we're going on tour in January. Yes. And, you and I also just the sale got sale ends on December 6th or if it sells out. The, yeah, the whichever comes first. Are set aside. So check it out for San Diego, Anaheim, and Los Angeles. The sale is the BOGO. So the buy one, get one free. It ends December 6th. Or while supplies last. There you go. Yeah. So you can go buy your tickets on twoidiotgirls.com. If you enjoyed this episode and you want to listen to other ones, we put all of them everywhere you can stream podcasts. And you can watch all of the video versions on our YouTube channel. We hope you have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.